What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you my latest kind of recap update episode for what I've been watching. So it's not too much different as far as um, compared to last week. So um, I'm still progressing through Game of Thrones. I had a chance to finish season two. Now I'm in the middle, uh, or basically the second half of season three. Um, so basically that point where... Um, Jon Snow has teamed up with the Wildlings, he's man met Mance Raider, he's starting to form that relationship with Tormund Giantsbane, um, with Rose, Leslie, Car Rose Leslie's character, um, and their relationship and all of that. Um, we have the continued stuff with the, or the lingering effects for the War of the Five Kings. So um, we're basically getting to the point of Rob Snow or Rob Stark dying, um, Joffrey dying. We've now been introduced to Ramsay Bolton, and then the whole story arc with him and Theon. So it's kind of that intermediary season in season three to kind of be out with the old and in with the new kind of thing. So kind of that transition between seasons. So nothing too much going on, or not that it's not too much going on there, but um, it's just a lot of intermediary stuff um continue i'm continuing to watch the walking dead dead city season one episode three people are a resource um not too much in the current story progression we now have or now that you know every, everybody knows that negan and um the crowd were together as far as as the saviors go but we have a little bit more backstory that related to Negan only doing what he needs to. Um, he can turn it on and off at will, but the Croat can't. Um, but then also just Negan is the way he is because of the whole thing with him and the the girl who doesn't talk, that words are cheap and actions speak louder than words, so we have a little bit of that. We don't necessarily have too much more of um, Maggie coming around, but it does look like she's starting to kind of understand that Negan is kind of, not necessarily the extreme as far as the Croat goes, but or Croat levels of extreme. But we do see that um, she's starting to understand that Negan is, he understands who he is, he understands the world, and he's doing what needs to be done in order to pre protect the people around him. And he's moving on, and at the time when he did kill um, Glenn, he was doing what he needed to be done to protect his people and take get rid of the outside threat so what you know what how he was doing things versus how rick and the gang were doing things were not necessarily different it's just that he had that he was doing that follow through and he was doing what he needed to do with that persona but he could also turn it off and he was giving people options so he's not necessarily the bad guy even though he plays one on tv kind of thing so um there is that um, I'm still watching Marvel's Secret Invasion. Um, in this case, it was season one, episode three. Much like last week, there's not a whole lot to talk about. It looks like they're also building up to the Skrull invasion or the takeover of planet Earth, which is now the bigger thing. We have a, um, the Skrull leader guy trying to figure out how to make superpower scrolls. So um, it kind of feels like that's what they're going towards or um, also kind of showing that there are more scroll around than um everybody thought even though i'm not sure if nick fury knew that or not but it's kind of like a day live it was kind of like a day live kind of look and feel where um without those special glasses you don't know who the, those aliens are and they live whereas now in um secret invasion until you you know shoot or cut a scroll you don't know if they're human or not so it's kind of interesting to see what they're going to do or how they're going to play it out, but it's kind of let even like last week's conversation with Rhodey and Nick Fury was interesting. This week was more on the scroll side. It was kind of interesting, but it was just on the, it was kind of like the bad guy side with the main bad guy leader talking to Amelia Clark's character about a traitor in the group. So nothing much to talk about. It's another stepping stone episode uh, for that. 
Um, and then as far as Jack Ryan, I had a chance to, I had a chance to watch season four, episode two, Convergence. Um, so here it's um, Jack is making progress on finding out and shutting down all these the rogue um, CIA um, missions and operations that are going on. He gets threatened by um, I want to say Michael Pena who actually turns out not to be the bad guy but he's working for the bad guy so now that they're on the same team they're working to figure out how they can help each other to bring down these bad guys and see how far the rabbit hole goes so it's continuing to be a very very intriguing and interesting show um so that's all there is for uh, as far as the stuff that i've been watching um i still am playing star wars knights of the old republic so um i finished with tatooine found that star map i still haven't been able to trigger the, the um, story arc with mission's brother so i'm kind of um, if I can, I'm you know, trying to reload Star Force to see if I can force a trigger somehow, but I have moved on to Kashyyyk, so as of this recording for this podcast episode, um, I've gone through the Great Walkway and I've done the um, Upper Shadowlands, so now it's down to the Lower Shadowlands to find um, Zalbar's father, um, the remains, I, or I may have found the remains of the Wookiee that disappeared, so find out about him, find the star map. There's a whole thing with the Mandalorians, which I don't remember if there was a story arc with um, Candorus or not. Um, now that I think about it, I'm actually thinking that I'm going to go back and swap him out for Karth. Um, since I have Jolie Bindo in my party, I don't know if I want to have... Um, like, I kind of don't know who I want to have because I have to have, you know... I kind of want um, Bastila in my party, but then if I have... Um, Jolie, if I make Jolie the main um, Jedi alternate Jedi character, and then have Candras as a backup, then that works. But having two Jedi is also a little bit better, in my opinion. I think so. I might do a little bit of googling before I start the next gameplay, just to see if there was any story arc. I don't remember that they actually had anything in Kotor one. In Kotor two, they actually handled it a little bit better, where they made that a little bit more impactful, where you could um, recruit all the various Mandalorian clans they see on all of various plant places like um the smuggler's moon um and on dantooine and all of that so you could bring all of them together and send them to duxon but that's kind of where i'm at right now um just playing through the game the same thing i haven't made much progress on that story arc with uh, my main character as the female with karth um it's kind of at a standstill so i wonder if it's going to progress once i get to like um manon and um, trigger the story arc with um, Karth and his son Dustal, or even if it's going to be something that doesn't trigger until the very end of the Unknown World. Um, I think there's going to be the story arc with Candorus and the guy from his squad on Menon as well, so I'll trigger that and then I'll see if I can also force a trigger or continue to force a trigger for Mission and her brother. But besides that, I think there's still a story arc with Juhani that doesn't really play out until. Um, I think the very end once you get to Korriban and I think there was a thing about um sending someone back to Korriban and you can or sorry back to Dantooine and then see her back there to redeem her so I might even try that see if uh, by the time I get to Korriban if that's still an option or something but um not really high priority just mostly a playthrough for the romance with cars so that's kind of where I'm at right now um, so that's all there is for this particular review. Not too much to talk about. Like I said, just a, a lot of the stuff that I've been watching has been a, a recap, update kind of thing, like a stepping stone among different things. So we'll kind of see how the episodes play out over the next week. And if um, something interesting does happen with, you know, the next episode of Jack Ryan. Um, and the same thing with The Walking Dead, Dead City and Secret Invasion. Um, um, like I said, I'm also almost done with the season three of Game of Thrones, so I think season three was the Red Wedding, and then season four was the death of Joffrey, if I remember right. I could have sworn the Red Wedding was in season two, but I guess that was too soon because it hasn't happened yet. So I guess season three, because we got to that point where um, Rob wants to team back up with uh, Walter Frey, and he's now having to marry his uncle with one of uh, Frey's daughter so well, that's neither here nor there like i said i'm almost done with season two um three so 
just progressing through the episodes there as fast as I can between all the other shows I'm watching and the game I'm video game I'm playing. Um, so that's all there is for this particular episode. Um, I was going to do an initial review of Threads by Facebook, the new um, Twitter competitor, I guess. Uh, short answer there is it's okay, it's fine. It's kind of just a Twitter version of Instagram, mostly because you do have to uh, or you can use your Instagram credentials to log in and for those um, contacts and followers and all those people that you have there. And it's basically just, uh, like I said, the UI is basically a little bit different. It's more of a Twitter version of Instagram, I guess. So I'm not neither here nor there with it. It's okay. There's nothing great about it. So we'll see if it, how it grows over time, I guess. But um, I guess it's if you prefer Facebook over Twitter, then you can easily get started with threads. But if you're still into Twitter, that's fine. Um, I would, or I am kind of trying to hopefully try to get an invite into Blue Sky so I can do a better comparison um, across all three. So compare Twitter, Blue Sky, and Threads. Um, but for me, I'm actually liking Mastodon, Mastodon a little bit more than all of them. Um, so just because of the open source and activity pub stuff and all of that, and it's just a little bit more drama free at the moment. But um, that's neither here nor there. So, like I said, once I get an invite and I can start using Blue Sky, I might do a better review of all of them so I have a more even comparison. But because I'm only on two out of the three, it's a quick hot take review that Threads is fine, not great, not bad. But if you don't want to use Twitter, then you can use Threads. Um, so that's all there is for this particular review. So if you want to comment on this post, feed, provide feedback or anything like that, um, all the social media links that I'm on are on the website at headphonesneal.reviews. The YouTube channel is youtube.com slash pateln01 to watch podcast episodes, get gameplay videos, and all of that stuff. Uh, but that's all there is for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.